Hello, and thank you for joining. Today, I will be walking you through a demo of Cloudera Machine Learning, or CML as we like to call it. CML is Cloudera's data service for data scientists. Machine learning development is iterative and complex, and it's made even harder because most ML tools are not built for the entire machine learning lifecycle. CML, on the other hand, is purpose-built for agile experimentation and production ML workflows, and it supports every phase of the machine learning lifecycle including exploratory data analysis, model development, and ML operations. In this demo, we will be working on a fictitious project to predict the likelihood of a U.S. flight being canceled, during which we will demonstrate how CML supports data scientists over these three main phases of the machine learning lifecycle. First, we will explore and visualize a data set of flights stored in Cloudera Data Warehouse. Second, we will see how a CML user can train and deploy an ML model. Third, we'll deploy a web application that enables business users to gain valuable insights from the deployed ML model. And lastly, we will see how applied machine learning prototypes can speed up the entire ML development process. Without further ado, let's get started in the demo. Here we are in the Cloudera data platform and see all the data services that are available to us. Today, we're interested in machine learning, so let's go ahead and hop in there. We're presented with a list of different machine learning workspaces available to us. ML workspaces are simply Kubernetes clusters that support fully containerized execution of Python, R, Scala, and Spark workloads through flexible and extensible engines. You can see that these can be deployed on any cloud. Today we'll be working with one that's on AWS. Now that we're in the workspace, let's navigate over to the project where we'll be working when we're trying to predict whether a flight will be canceled or not. To start out, let's go ahead and explore what data we have available to us. We'll click on the data tab, and then we'll go ahead and navigate into SQL. We were told that if we use the default Impala data warehouse and connect to the airline's data set, that there is a table called flights, which has the data that should be a lot of what we need. Let's go ahead and select star from this. And here's our data. You can see we have attributes like month, day of month, uh, airtime, departure delay, and canceled, whether or not this flight was canceled. So this is a data set that I am indeed interested in querying and using, but I would like to get to know it a little bit better through some visualizations. So let's go ahead and open up a new dashboard and take a look. CML provides users with a robust drag and drop data visualization tool to speed up time spent visualizing data. The field statistic visual gives you the same type of information as you would find in the pandas data frame dot describe method with information for each feature like distinct values, min, max, and number of nulls. Next, we will create another visual, this time exploring if there are flight origins that have longer delays on average than others. We can see this easily with a packed bubble chart, selecting the origin as a dimension, the departure delay as the measure. We'll even add a record count into the tooltip so we can make sure there is sufficient data for a given origin. Now that I have a better understanding of my data, I'm ready to switch over to an IDE and start writing code and train a machine learning model. Sessions provide an interactive environment for CML users to run code. The session leverages an ML runtime to provide the IDE kernel and all the packages and libraries a user would need to develop and run an ML workload. You can think of an ML runtime as a virtual machine, customized to have all the necessary dependencies to access the computing cluster while keeping each project's environment entirely isolated. Notice that CML has offered me a selection of code snippets to help me get connected to the data stored in CDP. We will use the code snippet for the default Impala warehouse to create a connection to the data that I was just exploring. Now that we can connect to the flights data, I can train, validate, and publish a machine learning model with this data set. As you can see here, in the interest of time, a script has already been developed that trains an XGBoost model to predict the likelihood that a flight is canceled. There is also a script that contains a function, predict underscore canceled, that will be used to put this model into production. The model feature in CML simplifies publishing your model with an endpoint. All you have to do is point to the file and function that you've developed to provide an output based on the required input, select the running time and resources required, and you're ready to go. The next step is one of the most important in order for your business to realize the value of an ML model. You need to provide end users with some way to interact with and make use of the model you've trained. The application feature gives data scientists a way to create web applications and easily share them with business stakeholders. Using any common web framework like 
Flask, Shiny, or Dash, data scientists can build and share rich data applications. Let's test this application out for ourselves. We can select inputs for a specific flight, and then our web app will send a request with the inputs to the model we published and return a prediction. Before we close, it's important to note that the demo I gave today was deployed from our catalog of applied machine learning prototypes, or AMPs. AMPs are ML projects that can be deployed with one click directly from Cloudera Machine Learning. AMPs enable data scientists to go from an idea to a fully working ML use case in a fraction of the time. It provides an end-to-end -end framework for building, deploying, and monitoring business-ready ML applications instantly. And if you're not a Cloudera customer, you can still access every AMP as they are published in public GitHub repositories. Thank you for joining us today and learning about how Cloudera Machine Learning enables data scientists across the entire machine learning lifecycle, from exploratory data analysis to machine learning operations and everything in between.